live from Wisconsin. So much excitement around here because my latest book, Pilates for Athletes, hit number one on Amazon after being out for about eight hours. Pilates for Athletes. My super duper friends, we are filming today at Veterans Park outside of West Salem, Wisconsin. I may have went to high school in West Salem back in 19 something something. I do know it was after the Civil War. This is a uh, Pilates routine into the splits. I did a how to do the splits routine, which is done very well. We'll put the link right up there. Click on that after you're done with this and do that routine. So I wanted to show you the power of Pilates for loosening up your hips, your core, your entire body, your hip flexors, so you can just hopefully slide right into that splits at the end. <clears throat> Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, and enjoy the beauty that is southwestern Wisconsin behind me. Ah, uh, the sweet smell of dandelions. By the way, the routine was written out on the back of one of my mom's old calendars, so it adds a, it's a lot of gravitas. All right, my friends, the cap is on. We're sweating. It's a little humid here. Everything is so nice and green. Still blooming, still blooming. I'll have to do just a whole video on nature. There's a squirrel over there. The squirrels here are much bigger than the squirrels we have in Colorado. Let us begin. This is all body weight, great for men and women, leading us into the splits, but that's not think about the destination. Let's enjoy each and every exercise as it comes down the road. All right, start with the spine stretch. By the way, I'm on, I'm on vacation, so my demeanor might be a little different than usual. This is vacation demeanor. Vacation, Sean. Try, I should be wearing lays. Draw the toes towards you. Shake out the legs for a moment. Shake out the arms. Always great to be warmed up before you begin the workout, but we'll ease into it. Take the arms up over the head. Let's do breathing in the nose, out the mouth. Breathing into those deep abdominals. Exhale, hinge up and over the toes. Pull the belly button in towards the spine. And then inhale back up. Bend the knees if you feel extra tight. Let's do four more. Exhale, hinge. This is all about core strength and flexibility training, which your dessert at the end perhaps might be the splits. That's your cake. That's your pie. All right, two more times. Reach up and over. I want to start digging into those hamstrings and calves, lower back. There's something on me. One more time. Reach. Pull that belly button in. All right. Now, bring it up. I want you to hinge forward. Grab the toes, feet, or ankles. We're going to walk. One at a time. Ten steps. Sink that, that back of the knee down into the switch. Two. Three. Hinge forward a little bit. And four. Five. Six, the folding leaf walk. Seven, eight, you got it. Nine, and ten. Smush both down once again. We're going into the Pilates saw. Heels to the outside edges of the mat ten times. Take the arms out, shoulders down. Twist to the right, two pulses. Exhale, exhale, look to the back arm. Inhale, center. One, two, three. In the nose, out the mouth. Four, five, good, six, seven, we're doing ten, eight, nine, one more time, and reach, let's take it right into the roll-up saw, in the blink of an eye we switch the cap, so here's what we're going to do, we're going to roll down, one vertebrae at a time, or come halfway back, inhale up, pause, come up, saw, slice, slice, and slice, slice. Okay, let's do that four more times. Massage the spine, very invigorating. And then we come up, pause, up, and by the way, there is a lot of oxygen down here in Wisconsin compared to where I live in Colorado. So we just soak it, soak it right up like a sponge. Pulse, and pulse, and then down. Let's do two more. Svimabita, come up. Smooth, squeeze those abdominals up and then twist. Try to alternate each time. I lose track very easily as I'm talking. I'm thinking about what we're doing, what we're gonna do, and what we just did. So sometimes my counting gets a little bit off. All right, fantastic. Now, extended boat to hurdle stretch. This one is just gonna melt your face right off. My face, all right. Grab the, you can grab under here. Extend, or the ankles, or the feet. Extend up, shoulders down. Extended bow, do a little walk here. Stretching the backs of the legs. We got the core humming away, the abs, the lower back, hips, and the glutes. 
the powerhouse, the center of our strength. Your shoulders are down, your chest is lifted. Now into the hurdle stretch. Take your left foot in, right leg forward, and stretch. Take an extra breath here. Really reach. Nose towards the knee, but we're up and over. Now back up into that. Woo. Extended. Back into the extended boat. There we are. An extra breath. Stretch it out, stretch it out. Now other side. Left leg forward, right foot in, and hinge. Once more, reach, smush the back of that left leg down, work the transition, come up, and boom. Let's do four more total. So two more on each side. Here we go, right leg forward, left foot in, hinge. Always welcome to hold these stretches longer. It's your video. Um, this is a little more active flexibility training, active stretching. Back up. Hello, extended boat. I think my dad and I are going to go fishing tomorrow in a boat. So this is foreshadowing. Left leg forward, right foot in. And stretch it again a little further. <sighs> All right, one more time each side. Looks good. Actually, I can't see you. I, I, I'm talking to myself. Looks good, Sean. Very nice. <laughs> uh, there's a new app. It just tells you you look good. All right, right leg forward, left foot in. Stretch right over that leg. Come on, right over that leg. There we go. You can come a little bit to the outside as well. One more time. Back to, actually not one more time. We'll return to extended boat once more after this. So here's our last extended hurdle stretch. Take the left leg forward, right foot in, and stretch. We're going to keep this pace going. We're just going to, instead of the hurdle, we're going to do the reverse hurdle. So the knee comes in. Here's what happens. Come back up. All right, I'm in a hole there, very good. Shoulders down now, drop the leg out, or in actually, and stretch forward. <sighs> Extra breath, really maximize that stretch, long lines, and then release, come back up. Okay, you see where this is going, don't you? All right, left leg down, right, right knee a little assistance, ow. Okay, thistles, there we go. This is Kissel and Stretch. Kissel. You're interested. Comment below. What is that from? This is Kissel. I want to learn how to swing. Come back up. Extended bow. You know, you watch my videos, you're going to get really random pop culture references that just come out. I think it's from my years in professional theater. They just pop out. If you don't like random, <laughs> these random quotes, you probably shouldn't watch my videos or do them with me. All right, come back up, extended boat. Don't worry about how many you're doing. Focus on the transitions. Smooth, activating different muscles all the time, and then, oh, that's, there we go. If we get this stretch here on the thigh, we're getting a little IT band and also hip flexor. Now let's do one more on each side. So two more, bring it back, extended boat. Pressing through the heels a little bit more. Draw the toes towards you. This is not my mat. This is not my beautiful mat. Once more, stretch, stretch, stretch. Long, lean muscles. Keep it loose. Not over, you know, you don't want to be hyper flexible. You want to be just enough so you can cover all the movements you need to do throughout your day. Whether it's just working around the house or doing sports. Keep your body limber, activated. Okay, my friend. Once more, back to extended boat. Shoulders are down. <sighs> Some of these sequences are featured in Pilates for athletes, by the way. Well, let you know that. Okay. Single straight leg stretch. One of my favorites. It's a client favorite, too, when I teach my, my live classes in Evergreen, Colorado. They love this one. Right leg up, left leg out. Stabilize the core, stabilize the center, draw the toes towards you. Let's do a one exhale this time. Exhale, draw the leg towards you, other leg reaches away. Inhale, switch. Back and forth. Ten more times. Long stretch. Lift the chest up, too. Activate the abs. Two. Three. Four. A little sun peeking out there. Five. Hope you're enjoying this sequence so far it sure is a pleasure to do it with you wherever you are in the world we just hook up and look at this
Isn't that a blessing? What a fantastic opportunity this is. Now, single straight leg stretch. Bring the leg slightly across. So grab the leg. This is going to hit your IT band a little further. Grab it. Stretch. Ten times. There's one. Whew. Two. Three. Steady. Steady. Squeeze the breath out of the lungs every drop before you go on. And five. Six. That long stretch. Good. Elbows to the outside. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now the hip opening tree crunch. Let's get serious. All right. Left leg extends out. Right leg got more of a challenge. Bring this left foot flat. Grab as high as you can on this foot. We'll do six on each side. What we do is we inhale, we open out to the side, grabbing his you know, foot, ankle, keep the knee soft, feel extra tight, bring it back to the center, and then either come halfway up right here, crunching, or walk all the way up, grab the foot or ankle, and stretch on the top. Massive stretch all the way down, Achilles, calf, behind the knee, hamstrings, of all the areas of my body, I hate the Achilles the most. And then we come down and open, okay? So there we are. Six times each side. So we'll do this as number one. Come up. Stretch at the top. Elbows to the outside. Slowly roll down. And then pull out to the side. That's one. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Lift through the upper body, too. Always stay engaged. Always be closing. There's three. There we are. And four. All right, let's do two more. Round that back down, be very precise, very coordinated, very smooth. Let's slow it down, come up, come up, come up, come up. There we are, and then down, and open. Let's do one more time. And we come up, stretch, oh, the stretch, oh, the stretch. And then slowly come down. Open it and let's go to the other side. Lift that leg up. Here's how we do it. Bo hey, whoa. <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> All right, enough levity. Let's take that left leg up, right leg on the mat. Pick your, pick your position. Open. Let's do six times. Here we go for number one. This one's a little uh, not as smooth on this side, but that's why we do it. We balance. Slowly come down. Feel those ab muscles responding, how it shifts back and forth. Now we have the hip opening. Here's two. And we get the stretch. Shoulders down even as we lift. Alright, big stretch there. And three. You'll find when you bring the leg out to the side, you also feel this nice little stretch across the body in your hip flexor. Right there. If you keep this glute down. Right there. Dry glazer. Three more. <laughs> okay. This is vacation, Sean, right now. I've been reading a lot. Let's do two more. Love to sit out in my parents' yard in the shade and a chair and just read for a couple hours. <sighs> you know, harass people driving by. That's my style. Two more times. <sighs> Stretch. Good. All the way down the hamstrings. <sighs> down. Open. And once more. <sighs> Love this one. It's full body, all these muscles working together. Precision. Come down and open. And let's go to double leg kicks. We're going to soften and loosen up our um, quadriceps a little bit and our hip flexors. Come on down onto your forearms. Uh, yeah, there we go. <sighs> Make fists or palms flat. Lift up. Now point. Flex down. We're going to exhale, exhale, inhale, okay? 12 times. Down. One, two, three, four. There's five. Once more, and we got halfway there. We are halfway there. Here's seven, eight. That was sloppy. I'll never forgive myself for that one. Damn it. Two more times. And down, point, flex down. All right, once more, one more. Movement here before we get into the actual splits. It's called rock 
and pull. Rock and pull. Are you ready to rock and pull? Okay. Lace the fingers, bend the legs. Flex the feet, press the heels up, and open up right here. There we go. The, uh, the act of opening the body up. We stretch the quads. As you exhale, release down. Let everything expand. And then inhale, not expand, but release. Sorry, I'm using the wrong words. Exhale, release. Okay, let's do six more times. And here's two. Release. Feel that stretch. I've lost count. I'm going to do three more. Three more for good measure. The old rock and pull action. Good. Shoulders back, palms together if you can. And two more times. Keep that body limber. Keep it loose. As I said before, not hyper flexible. You don't have to be freaky Lanuba, Cirque du Soleil flexible. But enough so you can handle your day-to-day -day activities with the, with the proper range of motion so your body is ready. Okay, release. Now. Runner's lunge. Let's see what we got here. It's kind of like you do all the work and then you unwrap the present. Let's see where we are. Take the left knee under the left hip. That's just, man, is that, a, that is so annoying right there. All right, right leg forward. Now this is runner's lunge. Little rocking back and forth. Splits are splits. You know, don't ruin your life trying to, trying to do the splits. You just want to work towards them. That's fantastic. It's all the process, as I said, going through each exercise, enjoying each one, getting better, letting your body uh, really explore them. And if you're able, you can slide that knee back further. Not bad. You could rock side to side. I mean, who would ever have thought that Pilates and the splits would be working together like this? This is great. But it all, you know, it's all movement to me. We label certain exercises, they belong to certain kinds of uh, programs and disciplines, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's movement, it's moving in functional patterns to increase your mobility your uh, capacity, your efficiency of movement, <sighs> wherever that takes you. Me, I like to roll out of bed in the morning feeling great, no matter what age I am. I was 21, 20 years ago, I'm 41 now. So I want to get out of bed and feel great and go out and attack and enjoy the heck out of the day. All right. If you can, you can walk forward here, stretch it out. This is Wally World right here. He came all this way. The splits are Wally World. First one's here. We're so far away. Come on, erase it. <laughs> Two more breaths. Come on. All right, such a shame. We want to stay here a little longer. Go ahead. Or come on up. Let's go to the runner's lunge on the other side. Let's just switch it out. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> Left leg forward, right knee down. Do a little rocking. This mat's a rocking. We're coming up. Back and forth. Yeah, a lot of junk down there. Anyway. Okay. Filmed a number of other videos around here. If you ever did my starter series, it's actually a download. I've been selling for about five years, very popular on my webpage. Filmed that right over there. Uh, last time I was home, we filmed in the snow, a beginner yoga program. I'm sorry, just keep going. <laughs> this side's a little tighter. My right hip flexor, always a little tighter. I'm going to scooch back and forth a little bit. Oh, my dad's back. He was just, were you talking to Kim? Mm -hmm. My sister, who lives in Colorado as well, wishes she could be here doing the Pilates splits routine with everybody. Who wouldn't? She'll have to do it from home. Don't you do the splits, Dad. We'll work up to that. Ah. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. By the time this video comes out, Mother's Day will be on the the flip on the post side, but uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I take my mom out for dinner. I may watch some Columbo. She loves watching Columbo. It's the simple things, subtle things that mean the most. All right, stay here. Let's see how this goes. You can walk forward. Ooh. Just keep on breathing. Breathe into the areas that are tight, the hip flexors, the glutes. You'll know right away where those areas are. 
Oh, yes, you will. Two more breaths. Okay. Sometimes the most challenging part is not getting into the splits, not doing the splits, but getting out of the splits. Fortunately, I have a whole harness system that will just pull me right up off the mat. Oh, we don't have that. No, we don't. So here's what we're going to do. I want you to walk up, roll onto your left side. That's the opposite of your right. And bring the legs around and give yourselves a mighty shake. In a wave. So did you make it in the split? How'd you do? Comment below. Remember, uh, I put it up earlier. You just click up there. You can get my original how to do the splits video. This one was just very daring, adding all these Pilates moves. But I want to get Pilates on your diet. I want you to get a steady diet of Pilates. You can check out all my books, including new number one bestseller, Pilates for Athletes at SeanLeeFitness.com. If I remember, I will put the link up here. It's always in the About section, as well as for men and women of all fitness levels. Any sport, any activity, you will just do fantastic. And I'd like to sign out now from Veterans Park in West Salem, Wisconsin, on my vacation, <sighs> my urlop, my vacances, here, here for about another week. And uh, when I can, we'll sneak out here and, and do some filming. Just love that. We got the yes. GoPro. Actually, the GoPro is sitting on a box because we don't have a tripod. So Sean Vig Fitness, always, you know, buying the most expensive equipment we can find. I made these pants out of cardboard. God bless.